Hello everyone, I'm Mattis Belaska and welcome to the stream and also welcome um, um, uh, welcome um, to the stream um, Keg. Uh, personal uh, welcome this time. Um, um, so yeah, I have to stream this early because there's load shedding uh, uh, beginning at 8, which is, is where I usually uh, would like to start. Uh, so unfortunately that leaves little time um, to um, uh, 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 to me, uh, for me to compromise with time. Um, um, so unfortunately, this also means we're going to get uh, some, um, uh, we're going to get some, um, uh, uh, some frame um, difficulty uh, with my streams. Hopefully it won't be too bad. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, unfortunately, they, um, it could be worse. Thankful, uh, thankfully, the, the, um, where I live now, with no uh, load shedding, isn't that bad, so it doesn't interrupt much. Uh, but yeah, in any case, last time um, we uh, uh, we went into WebCare and we learned how you no know, Lika, uh, uh, how you no know, um, this girl Lika is going uh, is, is the key to saving in, um, uh, to and Com we. After de uh, twin demons Lechku and Nechku you know, were released and started to pelt out the lands with a blizzard, and now we find ourselves at the spirit gate where she has gone beyond, and we are going to now go beyond that spirit gate. And um, so, without further ado, let us get to the game. I did start this game early so I could get in some fishing to get money. So as you can see, I've somewhat replenished my cash. Yeah, it is. It's a very beautiful game. The Spirit Gate. Nobody knows when it was built or even who built it. I want to play the the um I want to play the sequel to this game, but unfortunately I have no way of playing it officially, so I won't be able to stream it. Um nobody knows when it was built or even who built it. All we know is that it has been here since the Age of Myths. And that, uh, that's a whole lot older than even an uh, old man Ishaku. The Ponkel Chief Clan uh, has served as, as its gatekeeper for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open at, uh, and after all. We have no other choice you know, if Lika is on the other side of this thing. Stand back, Amy. Boy, old man Ishaku would have had my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep the as between you and me, Amy. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Um. Do you have uh, the guts to go on and uh, to go on through it? If you turn back now, after all I've been through, I swear I'll. Hmm. Okay. Hello again, Ethan, and I'm a terrorist. Who was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen uh, the spirit gate open before. 
They say open and get only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? And how the heck did you get, uh, get this far into Yosh Pet to begin with? Oh, you must be talking about uh, this forest power to confuse beasts. Indeed, uh, we half-human, half-beast Oina uh, should feel the effects. But it seems the sacred sword Katone uh, has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword it, uh, itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way uh, to the heavens. When Katone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Katone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demon shall soon fall. What's more, some say that, that even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, it hasn't and even and begun to glow. It must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, the spirit uh, gate uh, should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters uh, a misfortune, a taste of Kutone. Okay, wait. We have no idea what's uh, on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're going to find more uh, than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for, for the sake of Katone. He's uh, got a bit of a hero complex, doesn't he? No, wait, Amy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Too late now. I mean, we went and opened the darn thing. Hmm? This doesn't look so bad. What was all that talk about uh, the spirit gate and, and, and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. It's Kamiki. Yeah, that's it. It looks just like Kamiki Village. Kamiki? You mean that tiny village in Sinshu Field? That's where the plate has uh, the whole. Uh, that's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Katoni must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait. What about Lika? He's gone. Oh well. I've been good. How about you? Anyway, this really is, is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm getting a, diff uh, a different vibe from um, here. Hmm? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Are you guys just ready to see the cutest thing ever? Just making sure there's nothing behind. Hey, isn't this where uh, Sakia's tree was? What's this dinky little seedling doing here? Hmm? Wait a second. You're the uh, Shun kind of guard, aren't you? I'm a witch sprite. They call me Shakia. <laughs> What? Yeah, young Wood Sprite Shaki. <laughs> I love how the, the I love how the oh they they they, they put the H in the name. <laughs> what she say her name name is Shaki? Sounds kind of familiar. Anyway, where the heck uh, Saki? Where the heck Sakia's tree? Shakia, that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we we know already, kiddo. 
We grown-ups are busy there right now. Why don't you go off and play? Yeah, so big hint as to what's going on here. <laughs> Oh man, the music in this game is so good. Ooh. New trees. <laughs> you shot you more like this. <laughs> I've always found, uh, I've always found, uh, uh Chucky, uh, adorable, really. Um, definitely more ink. What's this? It's Mr. Orange, but it's different. Adorable makes the kick more effective. <laughs> I pray for your swift growth, Ko uh, Konohana. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What do you want with us? Hey, Gramps, still tearing up the, the dance floor, I see. So what happened to the sacred tree? I get, it got so small all of, a sudden, all of a sudden. Someone put a curse on it or what? What are you talking about, uh, you fool? I'm lovingly raising the ceiling, uh, seedling to bring uh, peace to the land. I shall drive away Orochi and all of his minions. Orochi? <laughs> Where the heck uh, have you been, Gramps? That sneaky snake's pushing up daisies right in about now. I don't have time for this nonsense, you fool. Year after year, you come to our, our village to claim the sa uh, to claim the sacrifice. And this time, um, you even learn to speak. Well, today is the day I, uh, hey, I say enough is enough. Isn't that curious? I am going to check over here because I'm not, I don't remember if I ever done so before. Darn it. Every little bit uh, every little bit helps. Katani pottery. Oh, there's a clover over here. I forget if I got this or not uh, during subsequent playthroughs. I think I did. I'm the village elder, Mr. Grapefruit. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Grapefruit? Doesn't uh, Mr. Orange live here? And whoever heard uh, of such a silly name as Mr. Grapefruit anyway?
Hmm? You don't fool me, you dumb wolf. Pretending to come sniffing out how uh, to sacrifice for Orochi. Mm -hmm. While all the time, then, you're just uh, waiting to dig up my field. <laughs> cool. Also, midnight. Wow. You're, uh, you're awake late. I'd try to be in bed by then. Um, all the uh, time, you're just waiting to dig up my field. Huh? Give me a break, lady. I've got too much on my mind as it is. Some things never change, huh? Hey, yo, sweetie. How you doing? I hope you can cut uh, that Sosano uh, some slack. He's so shy that... What was that all about? Yeah, isn't that curious? I tend to run on autopilot a lot and forget about cooking till random times. <laughs> Honestly, I would do the same um, um, thing. I would do the same if I were cooking. Hey, you're Shiranui. We don't need uh, any of Orochi's familiars around here. Shiranui? Orochi's familiar? Does that have something to do with our uh, slaying Orochi? Eh, well, you're gonna have to wait uh, in line uh, for an autograph. Shut up! The only one who's gonna get uh, slain is you, you monster. Monster? What's gotten into you, Mushi? So coming around here, Shiranui? Well, you, uh, well, you're not going to get away with it this time. Hey, wait, what the heck has gotten into you? Okay, I'm, uh, I was trying to see if I can turn it uh, and talk to the dog, but I can't. Yeah, those flowers don't seem to be over there. Uh, uh, don't, don't seem to be there. No <laughs> proper friend uh, for me, apparently. Yeah, apparently. At least I got a chance to feed him. Oh. Why pour some pot? Etch glass. Darn it. <laughs> Tonight is the night end of the full moon. That sad day is once again upon us. This year, the lovely young Nami will be Orochi's next victim. Lovely young Nami? Wow, she sounds hot. Where's she at? <laughs> hmm? Oh my, is that Sh Sh Shiranui? Please, I'm begging you. Have mercy on me. I'll make you uh, some yummy cherry cakes. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Grandma. Now, now, what about that lovely young Nami you were talking about? And <laughs> she just drops the cherry cakes. Oh, I got another chest here. Did I miss this in the original town? I should go back. I mean, this is the original town. What are you guys uh, is talking about?
Hmm? That perfect white coat. Those razor sharp eyes. You must be Shiranui. Ah, someone help me. I don't taste good. No, no, I beat the uh, terrible sacrifice. What the heck? He thinks you're gonna uh, eat him or something? Hmm, he does look kind... Uh, he does kind of look plump. I'm as plump as a, as a dumpling, but I'm poisonous. Yeah, it's poisonous. Look, I'll sell you anything you want. Please spare me. <laughs> I love how he's even cowering in his portrait. Ooh, Trinity Mirror. This is the one. Uh, this is the mirror I was still missing. Um, uh, I guess I'll get a couple more of the uh, uh, large bones. But now that we got the Trinity Mirror... Okay, now we got every weapon, and then... And, uh, now we got every... Uh, a, a weapon up to date, and... And, um, and they're all... No, they're all upgraded. So there's a reason I wanted uh, 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 to talk to this guy last. Anyone who's played this game up to this point will know what I'm talking about. I am the greatest. <laughs> Pops hasn't changed a bit. Oh, Nami, let's... <laughs> Nami? Don't tell me this bonehead uh, cheating on Kushi. Really, Eason, how have you not put it together yet? Go on, Hammy, give him a go and knock upside the head. <laughs> what the? Huh? Ah, I slept like a log. I must have dozed off while uh, training and to, uh, defeat, uh, to defeat that no good Shiranui. Hmm? Who are you? Why do you, uh, what do you want um, from me? I'm Nagi, the greatest uh, warrior uh, or ever. Wait a minute. You're Shiranui. You still dreaming of something, Pops? I mean, greatest warrior ever? Give me a break. You brought along a little, little pea-sized monster this time. Well, I have you now, Shiranui, you monster. Monster? Come on, Pops, wake up! You must uh, still be dreaming. And what's with this Shiranui business? You still upset us with the past? The past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon. Tonight is the night when uh, the moon waxes to its fullest. It marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? Wait a second. What the heck's going on? The sinister air. That jerk Orochi must be stirring. How's that possible? Hmm. Too late uh, to fade innocence, Shiranui. We know you come each year to size up uh, Orochi's human sacrifice. But this time, things are going to be different. I, Nagi, shall put an end to your devilish work. Orochi, Nagi, no, it can't be. Right, Amy? I mean, the Spirit Gate couldn't uh, to possibly send us, uh, us back to Kamiki Village 100 years in the past, uh, could it? Yep. And this is a full-on boss fight.
Huh. I remember having so much hard... Uh, oh, right. There's a particular version of this that's harder. Oh, you knocked him um, out cold. Wonder what's going on. I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. I thought he was Sasano. Then again, he looked like the statue of Nagi in, in the village. Hmm, that vibe in the village... Uh, uh, and the villagers' reactions. <clears throat> and now this big old full moon. Now I'm positive. We really did go back to Kamiki Village 100 years in the past. I get it now. Everybody thought Shiranui came to the village before the festival decides up the next sacrifice. They thought Shiranui was Orochi's familiar or something. So that's why he called uh, you Shiranui and wanted to fight you. Hey, wait a second. Where's the real Shiranui then? Uh-oh. No, I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope uh, coming here wasn't hasn't totally messed up history. <laughs> Look, the villagers are all gathered in, in front of his house. Nagi, please come out. We need your help. Shirinui once again roams our village. It seeks to size up uh, Baroji's next vision, uh, victim. The moon is at its fullest tonight, and the dreaded Orochi. Uh huh. The accursed arrow has marked the home um, of the chosen maiden. This will be the 100th maiden since this terrible uh, uh, rite began. The village has been. Uh, uh, the village uh, has been. Uh, uh, has got to be rather short on maidens at this point. Like every year for the past 100 years. Does our village suffer such tragedy yet again? Poor Nami, to think we en end up having to send you to that beast. Well, for some reason, she is kind of the only ma maiden left in the village. I believe in you, Nagi. You have trained long and hard to slay the dreaded and Orochi. I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in the, in the moon cave. I know you will put an end to Orochi and this dreadful rite. I'm going to change into the white sacrificial robe. Please, everyone, go hide in your homes. It is not safe out here. I took damage, huh? Bah, that Orochi. I'm sick of him and his antics. Hmm? Hey, wait. Maybe it wasn't such, uh, such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You, you know, the legend said as Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed is, is the, then slew uh, the dreaded Orochi. Time travel shenanigans. But how's he going to do that when he's out cold right here? This is going to change history itself. What are we going to do? 
We'll have to look for Lika later. We gotta think of something quick. Hmm. Well, get this. We should uh, make sure things just go like uh, the let uh, go just like the legend. That means we have to dress Nagi up like a maiden. Now then, where to begin? Oh, I know. Nami said that uh, she was going and uh, to change uh, engine into a white sacrificial robe. We gotta wipe uh, that robe and put uh, it on Nagi. Then get him um, over to Orochi's his place. That should be more. Uh, that should more or less fulfill the legend. At least I hope it will. Anyway, we better hurry before Nagi uh, takes off. Nami takes off. Let's go swipe that white sacrificial robe. First, I completely forgot there were islands over here. Come on. Pearl. Gonna get as much money as, as I possibly can. Hold on a sec. Look at that, Amy. Nami. She's bathing in, in the lake. And look, the white sacrificial robe uh, is there for uh, the taking. Hey, what's it? Uh, what's with uh, the glowing uh, barrel of sake? You think it could be uh, that eight purification sake? Jesus. Keep it down, Furball. Nami must be purifying herself uh, before putting on the robe. Pretty noble of her, considering Orochi is gonna gobble her up. I bet it's her devotion to that uh, and that made the eight legend, uh, the legendary eight purification sake. If I could get that up close, uh, a close view of her like this, God damn it, Ethan! I'd, I. <laughs> Can we sacrifice Ethan instead? I mean, just check him, uh, man. I mean, who knows? Perva might go great need with stew. Anyway, this is, is our big chance, Amy. Let's snag her white sacrificial uh, robe while she's busy bathing. Ready? You ready? Yeah, gotta be really careful here. Way to go, Amy. The white sacrificial robe is ours. Now, let's go get uh, that Nagi into this thing. Okay, we got the robe. Now all we gotta do is, uh, is get Pop uh, here into it. <laughs> Doesn't he look pretty? Now Nagi can then uh, pretend uh, to be uh, uh, the maiden sent to be sacrificed. Not really a good fit for him, is it? This should be just like uh, the legend said. <laughs> By the way, this is uh, this is in, in the um, this is actually in, in the um, in the original uh, myth, from what I may uh, uh, understand. Except instead of Izanagi who did it, it was Susanoo.
Not bad, if I say so myself. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's take him over uh, to the moon cave before he wakes up. After all, he, he's all dressed up for his day with destiny. <laughs> we just have the knocked out Sasana on our backs. Not Sasana, Nagi. I can't help but love that. <laughs> Shinshu Field. So this is Shinshu Field 100 years ago. Hey, you gotten, uh, uh, you've given a piggyback ride to the Moon Cave before, but it was at Babe Kushi last time. The view, not to mention smell, was a whole lot better then. I'm not sure I'm liking this whole bit, uh, uh, going back to the past business. Well, time travel has always been a messy thing. All right, these guys. I forgot these guys were a thing. Okay, so it's not slashing. I forget what I need to do for these guys. I think I just gotta blow them up. Like the statues in Ryoshima Coast. How <laughs> could you forget the friends? <laughs> it's been a while since I played the, uh, this game. So, no, I forgot a few enemies along the way. I completely forgot this area had completely unique enemies. Now, if I recall correctly, this whole thing, thing uh, I can't return to the, uh, this place is um, once we're done here. Oh, wait. Aha! I swear that golden ink pot just pays for itself. It's like one of the, it's easily one of the best relics in the game. I mean, it's obviously not the best relic. Uh, there, uh, 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 the best relic in, uh, in the game you can't even get on the first playthrough. But it's still like one of the best. Really helpful when you don't have that one. But then you get that one, and th and then and and um, and then the uh, particular one becomes useless. Oh really? So a pocket watch. This Ritzy number display is its own enhanced version of time. I think I read that before. Oh, this plate of land disappears into the ether. I forgot. Uh, I don't think I noticed that before.
And away you go. And we're back to 10,000, just like that. Gosh darn it. Oh! Well, good thing I did get you. No. I think we deal with this guy the same way. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. It's always satisfying when you find the right floral finisher. Also, I do kind of love how you only need level two for the, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, cut for this, just in case you didn't get and uh, take the time to get the third. to sing clay dolls to the ether. My favorite pastime. Exorcism slip. And here's where the, the, do, uh, the dojo should be, but isn't. Or not. Come on. I wanted to get him for the bestiary, but uh, god damn all these burrowing enemies of pain. Crosscode Orokami, these, bur these burrowing enemies are just a pain in the ass. Darn it. We gotta have flying one uh, somewhere, right? There they are. Okay, no. No. Did I hit the other guy by accident after he died? And that's why the floor all finisher didn't work? 